All right, guys, I am now back for part two of this coloring book haul. Oh my gosh. Um, hopefully I'm not going to be buying any more for a very long time. Uh, these are all from Amazon. I believe. Could be wrong, but almost all of them are from Amazon. The first, like, let's see. The first four-ish books are extremely recent. I just got them in the mail this week. The rest of them I've had for a while or I've been waiting for them for a, a long time. So here we go. I'll start off with Cat Spirits. I saw, oh gosh. I saw, I think her name is Color Cats and Chats with Michelle. I think that's her name. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, but I don't know her complete YouTube name. Oh my gosh. And now the children outside are going to scream. Seriously. I cannot deal with screaming children. That's why I don't have kids. Anyway, this is Cat Spirits Coloring Book by Christina McAllister. And this is book number one. And I sure hope she comes out with more cat books because I love her art. Here's the back with, um, it looks like some examples. I don't know if all these are in the book or not. And I think this is grayscale. I'm not sure if they're all grayscale, but at least some of them are. Uh, so here is the first page. And then it um, talks about the cats, talks about them. Oh, I love cats so much. Gives you some coloring tips. And then on the back, so these are one-sided and on the back of each page is this, which is kind of cool actually. So there's this one. This one kind of reminds me of like Art Deco a little bit. And look at the cat in the back or at the bottom. I really like these pictures a lot. <laughs> that one's cute. I'm not going to do an entire flip through, but I mean, it's cats. I'm, oh, I just love cats. I love all cats. Except for, okay, so here's grayscale testing sheets in the back. Here's some of her other books. Which are very cool looking, but I'm just not um, not super interested in them. So, yeah. But the Cats one had to have. Cats rule everything around me. So that one I would say is not technically grayscale. But it looks like basically... Ev oh, maybe... Well, that one has a couple grayscale things. But anyway... That's my boyfriend's favorite one. Most of them have grayscale um, aspects. So there is Cat Spirits, Obsessed. I want more cat books. Then we have a Jade Summer book. Um, these next two I just got in the mail like a couple days ago. Um, I'm kind of gearing up for Halloween. And unfortunately there's not a lot of adult Halloween coloring books. I was pretty, at least one, not ones that I'm interested in. This is one of them, though, that I am very interested in. And I don't like the fact that Jade Summer Books give you two copies of each image, but, I mean, I'm not upset about it. <laughs> I just would prefer more differing images. Here is, like, a couple of pages from her other books. Here's a list, or it's not a her, it's a them. They are like publishing, I don't, I don't know. They're black background on the backs, and yeah, I think you get 25. Oh, I love this one. Obviously, cats. So yeah, these are super cool, and they're witches, cute witches. So I'm really excited. Next up is Haunted House by Jade Summer. This book is so cool. I love the art style. 
I wonder, does it say who does the art? Hmm, I think it just says Jade, yeah, it just says Jade Summer. So anyway, this book's, oh wait, does this one not have double images in it? I don't know. Maybe not. Here, let's see. Okay, so this is the first one, A Haunted House. And then, is that the same one? Yes, it is. Okay, so it does have two. They're just not separated like that other book was. So yeah, these, these pictures are just really cool. Sort of creepy. Oh, I love that one with the, the eyeballs hanging from the tree. Yeah, creepy. Very, I don't know, I just like them. They'll be fun to color. So yeah, there's Haunted House, Jade Summer. Now we're getting into the books that I've either had for a while now or have been waiting for a while for. So this one is fairly recent. I got it earlier in the month of August. This is Color by Number Happiness. I really like these books. This one's by Arpad Olby. And they just have different pictures in them. And what I love about these, how cool is that? And then it also has all the completed pictures, but this is the greatest. You're working on a picture and you have all your colors right there instead of having to flip to the, to the beginning of the book or anything like that, like most of them. So yeah, I will show you guys the picture that I got this book for in specific is this one here, the lambs jumping. I am obsessed with this picture. I'll probably cut it out maybe once I'm done with it. But all of them are just really cool pictures. I love all of them. Some of them are a little more difficult than others. Some of them are landscape. But, oh, these books are a lot of fun. Um, so this is Happiness. I also have, oh, I have quite a few of the others. Um, actually, I think I have one. Yeah, I have one right here on my desk. This is Mindfulness, and I have this out now because I've been coloring in it, but um, this one's by David Woodroth. Woodroff? Yeah, I, these books are so fun. Can we find one that I've actually colored? There's one. That one turned out okay. That was the first one I did, and I just wasn't into it. I like, really like how that one came out. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, love these books. I color in them quite often. So I got happiness. Woohoo! Then, um, what is her name? I think her name is Danny Buttons. She does a lot of scrapbooking, but she also does um, coloring books. And I became... I didn't like these books, um, and then I saw what she was doing in hers, and I was like, yes, absolutely, have to do that. So this is Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanna's, and this book, like, the pictures are super cool, but I was like, okay, they're double-sided. What, how am I going to color in this? What, I'm, I was like... I could use colored pencils, but the thought of coloring this entire book in colored pencils just sounds awful. <laughs> like if I was super good at colored pencils, maybe, but I'm not that good and I um, colored pencils hurt my hands really, really bad. So, oh, this picture or this double spread, I cannot wait to do this one. I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, what Danny Buttons does is she has been coloring this book in watercolor and that's absolutely what I'm gonna be doing in this book. I'm so excited. So thank you, Danny Buttons, even though she probably doesn't watch me. As you guys know, um, 
I this channel is all over the place. I've been a um, a Pokemon YouTuber where I open Pokemon cards. I have done just mostly random toy videos of all sorts of toys that I like. And it's time for my latest and greatest obsession, coloring books. Um, although I've been coloring since I was a child, but I'm really hardcore back into it now. Or I have been for a while, but I thought, you know, why not show some of my coloring books on this channel? So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Next. Um, are three amazing books. I have also recently become obsessed with Hannah Carlson. Her artwork is so gorgeous. I can't even deal with it. Um, so I got, I already have, which books do I have of hers? I already have Daydreams, Magical Dawn, and Summer Nights. Daydreams and Magical Dawn are, two, are my two favorite books from her. Um, and those ones are just in the English version because I could not get the other version. Is it the Dutch version? I think. Anyway, um, so I have those three and then I've got three more to add to my collection. I have, this is Jewel and Kitsji, which is Jewelry Box. And this is the, uh, the version that's not in English. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if it's Dutch or what exactly it is. Many more people could probably tell you. Um, uh, can't read that. But, oh, this book, it's hardcover. It's got some gold embellishments. It is double-sided, but I plan on using... Um, Possibly water-based markers, but mostly probably colored pencils in this book. In these books, I should say. But honestly, I just find myself... I haven't colored in any of them yet because they're very intimidating. But I literally find myself taking these books off the shelf and just flipping through them like I'm doing right now. The artwork is amazing. The paper quality on the non-English versions is better, for sure, I can tell. It's almost like cardstock, um, even though it is double-sided, but ugh, the pictures are gorgeous. I had to have, and any, probably any other books similar to these that she comes out with, I'll probably buy them too, because <laughs> that's how much I love them. So that is the non-English version of Jewelry Box. And then this is her newest one. This is Soulmates. Um, I think this one's also in Dutch or something. It's it's in a different language, even though Soulmates, um, that's English to me. But I mean, it could be it could mean something else in a different language. I think in um, in English, this book came out as Spirit Animals. I think is what it was. But basically. Um, it is just like, that's really cute. Um, it's just people and their familiars. So like this is a fox or possibly a um, ferret or something. <laughs> and this one's just like a witch with her potions and frogs. Uh, this one is a rat. With like a rat village, some burbs, owl. So on one side you've got the animal and on the other side you've got a person very similar to the animal. <gasps> oh, bats. Oh, I love bats. So yeah, just the coolest book ever. Knew I had to get this one too. This one's probably in runner-up for, like, third favorite. <laughs> and then, of course, I had to get this one. I think this is Seasons. Again, it is in a different language. And it's gorgeous. All of her books are so gorgeous. I can't even deal with it. 
So yeah. It's just basically it goes through the seasons. I think it ends with, um, yeah, it ends with like winter, winter scenes. And then it goes through like fall. I love that cat. It goes through fall, summer, and spring. Gorgeous. Oh, I just love these books. Like I said, I could just sit here and stare at them forever and ever and ever and ever. So yeah, those are the Hannah Carlson books that I picked up. So now I have all of her books, which I'm very happy about. Um, oh man, I'm not going fast enough, I don't think, because I have one, two, three, four, five more books. And then I also have the books that I got at the thrift store to go through. And it's already 16 minutes in. Um, in case you guys are new to my channel, I can only do a video for like 19 minutes. Otherwise, my video editor crashes. It like refuses to let me edit anything before that, so or anything after that. So I can't do like um, any sort of editing at all if it's over that amount of time. So normally that's fine, but sometimes I like to cut out some things. Sometimes I like to fix the um, volume or the uh, lighting post recording so that kind of stinks yeah I don't think I'm gonna get through these books in this video so stay tuned for the next part part number three <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed part number two and I will see you in my next video bye guys